Pentagon has temporarily suspended deliveries of F-35 fighter jets after discovering that the magnets in Honeywell's turbo engines were made using an alloy of cobalt and samarium developed in China. At the time, it was revealed that the Chinese alloy was present in all 825 F-35s delivered to date, regardless of variety or purchaser. Chinese analysts have told state media that the U.S. military's reliance on Chinese rare earth products has been exposed by the neglect of allowing alloys with Chinese origins to continue to be used on the F-35 fighter jet. In compliance with a request made by the F-35 JPO, the Pentagon's chief arms purchaser William Laplante signed a waiver on October 8 authorizing the use of the alloy. U.S. regulations prohibit unapproved Chinese components on board. China's adversaries, including Japan and South Korea, are deploying the F-35 in the Indo-Pacific. Furthermore, Lockheed Martin is one of the U.S. arms companies that China has approved for providing weapons and equipment to Taiwan, which could be another reason for Beijing to ban exports of alloys to the American defense giant. As a result, China may choose to restrict exports of such strategic resources to protect its national security. Just days after the Pentagon halted deliveries, the Office for Joint Production of the F-35s informed that it had decided to request a national security waiver to allow deliveries to continue, even though the Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter contained Chinese components in violation of the Pentagon's purchase norm. According to Laplante, acceptance of the aircraft is necessary for national security reasons. He said the waiver is in effect until the last aircraft covered by the contract are received which is expected to happen in October 2023. However, the neglect is seen in China as America's dependence on rare earth metals produced in China. The Chinese state publication China Daily previously said that the incident demonstrated the ridiculous situation of high anxiety that the U.S. government imposed on itself due to the self-inflicted fear of red. According to Yang, manager of a state-owned rare earth company in Guangzhou, China has a competitive advantage in the production of medium to downstream rare earth magnets, and the U.S. effort to ban imports of Chinese origin alloys from military equipment. Practically a mission impossible from a short and long-term perspective. China is the only country in the world that has developed the capability to extract the rare earths samarium and cobalt, which means the middle product of samarium oxide is almost 100% made in Chinese factories. We also account for more than 70% of the final samarium cobalt rare earth magnet product. How could Washington get China's rare earth products out of its jets in such a scenario? Yang said. According to the researchers, U.S. weaponry and other equipment may contain Chinese rare earths. This argument by Chinese analysts is appropriate because this is not the first time banned Chinese components have been found in the F-35. The Pentagon was forced to routinely suspend regulations to keep the fighter aircraft program on track in 2012 and 2013. Other military aircraft, such as several Lockheed Martin F-16 fighters and Boeing B-1B bombers, were also found to contain Chinese elements in 2014. Wei Dongxu, a Beijing-based military expert, stated that China should think about imposing stricter export controls on rare earth products, which are strategic resources the U.S. uses them for military purposes that could undermine China's sovereignty, territorial integrity and development. Interest On its part, the U.S. has blamed the use of the alloy as a supply chain error that has promised to look deep into and correct it. At the time of the ban last month, Laplante said that the main issue was not the alloy itself but how complicated the supply chain for the defense industry base was. He stated that contractors need to understand their supply chain better. JPO said in a statement that alternative sources for the alloy would be used in the future. In addition, Lockheed Martin assured the Pentagon that magnets produced from different alloys using components from the United States would be used in the future in turbo engine production.